So welcome mga chong so, to Monkey's Bananas Vlogs where we unbox anything and everything under the sun and especially kung ano lang yung meron tayo again hindi naman natin pwede buksan kung anong wala pero these are the action figures and mga laruan na accumulate natin nakuha uh, when I started collecting them around 2005 so welcome and I'd like to thank you for watching um, if you're able to watch all the videos before uh, we were able to unbox mostly X-Men related action figures, uh, Marvel Legends, and for now, uh, we're focusing on the Final Fantasy VII Play Art Skyline. And right now, we're going to open Zack Fair Crisis Core uh, figure. And um, so background, hindi ito yung kanyang first uh, appearance uh, articulated figures. He had a Play Arts um, uh, version. Uh, with the Final Fantasy Crisis Core line along with Soldier um, Cloud as well as with Flower Girl Eris. And ito yung kanyang first Play Art Sky figure na uh, this line. So, dalawa lang sila sa line na to, um, him and uh, Eris. And hopefully, sooner or later, uh, magkaroon din ng taibang line for Crisis Core like Angel. Siguro with Genesis. But yeah, but for now, we'll just take what it's due since Square Enix is milking them. But yeah, this is going to be uh, one of the three figures that we will lastly open. Siguro actually apat. Uh, but for now, Zap is the one that we're going to do. And typical of Rise Score Box or Clay Art Sky Box, black one. Uh, ito yung kanyang box art sa likod, uh, the way you'll be able to pose him. And this is not part of any wave. I bought it for 6,500 in Data Blitz. So as you can see, medyo maalikabok yung taas kasi nga sa storage. That's the reason why we're trying to unbox these figures now. So para ma-enjoy din natin siya kasi I am an out-of-box collector. And we wanna open them and display them depending on the mood, basically. But uh, for now, I think action poses and um, hero poses muna ang gagawin natin uh, sa kanya. But actually, yung, if you're able to play the Crisis Core game, he's uh, he's really not the first one who had yung Buster Sword, which is this one. It was an Angel or Angel, depending on where you are, how you pronounce his name. But um, binigay sa kanya ito nung, uh, before he passed away. And Crisis Core game is actually focused more on Zack on his uh, quest to becoming a first soldier or uh, first class along with Sephiroth. I think I don't know yet as Sephiroth in Angel, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I played that game, but hopefully you guys can play it once you had the chance, especially an emulator or if ever if they decided to do a remake, because that's basically one of the. Um, things na ginagawa ngayon ng Square or Enix or uh, Squaresoft about remaking the games that mostly we mostly enjoyed before but yeah so here is the excerpt about the flap on Zack Fair but uh, as you can see yung kanyang window type of box his insignia would basically be his, the Buster Sword and just like what I mentioned he was the predecessor before Cloud um, had it. So let's read up the excerpt. A mystery behind the mass disappearance of soldier operatives and tale of Sax harsh fate. Story of Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII takes place seven years. Prior to the events of Final Fantasy VII, Shinra Electric Company was continuing apace their development of the mago powered city of Midgar, and their complete dominance was imminent. In the midst of this rapid expansion, a large number of Shinra soldier personnel go AWOL during a mission in Wutai. Shinra management is a serious problem and sends soldier first class Sephiroth, his loyal admirer Sack, and Angel to investigate. What lies at the heart of the mystery of the soldier desertion? The doors to Sack's cruel fate will soon open. Looking up to his hero, Sack matures into a top-notch member of soldier. Admired and respected by all, that is what it means to be soldier first class. Always admiring such heroes, Zack struck out on his own at age 13, joining Shinra and enlisting to become part of the soldier uh, program. With an innocent and energetic personality, Zack has the spirit to take action as soon as inspiration hits. During the course of the story, he is able to climb the ranks and become soldier first class. 
In the wake of the soldier mass desertion, Sag is assigned to Wu Tai alongside a Jill, and the heroes have wrought in order to end the war there. Wu Tai is also the post of his best friend Genesis, who has gone missing as well. One of Sag's weapons is a double edged broadsword called the Buster Sword, a massive sword as tall as he is. This is a special custom made weapon that Angel owned while mentoring Sack when he was still soldier second class. This sword is eventually passed down to Final Fantasy VII protagonist Cloud as a keepsake of Sack. There. So, as you remember, the Final Fantasy VII game, there were um, flashbacks that um, Cloud had. Uh, especially during yung face na na balu balu siya sa wheelchair and he was actually remembering the um, memories of Sack and their excerpts, uh, their adventures before um, Crisis Core and that was really not him he was just thinking of Sack um, Fair's memories living in, of, in his memories uh, rather than his own um, history but yeah this is really critical on the storyline of having him along with Aerith because they both passed away. I'm not particularly sure but I'm, there are a lot of conspiracy theories but as far as Lightning is concerned, Aerith is dead but Sack is basically so-so. Um, I'm not particularly sure on the story. But yeah, uh, I highly suggest you play the game so that you get more of an idea of how he is and his um, story, how it went, the adventures niya, the Cheng, or the Cessna. Ang ganda ng laro niya dun sa PSP. And definitely, it's also a uh, good, uh, how will you put it, contribution dun sa death ng storyline known Final Fantasy 7 so it's, it was not just to milk the series but it added to already the lore and history of the game it put a relevance dun sa pagkakanon niya dun sa Final Fantasy 7 a franchise it just added more to the lore basically so um, unboxing him they both get the same uh, black backdrop and um, clamshell. Yung kanya ng stand again nandun sa loob. There. I only built a couple of them. Uh, I will play around on how to post these guys, but um, here it is. It contains the Buster Sword and two set spare fans. And yung isa siguro extra peg, siguro nga ano siya. Um, yung fragility ng mga figures, especially yung malit yung pegs niya for uh, the hands, manipis. So removing the cover of the clamshell, you can see the figure itself. So I'm gonna roll out ng peg. Two sets of hands, open palm in um, clenched fist. And yeah, very sack. Out of the box, he can only already stand on his own without even having to fix um, his body or position his body. This is the first time I'm seeing the Buster Sword in hand. Uh, uh, actually, on hand. Because uh, this is the first figure I'm going to box with the Buster Sword. I do have Cloud, which I will open siguro second before last to Sephiroth. But everyone knows how to post it. You normally just have to put it at the back of Zack um, or either Cloud. But uh, his uniform is basically the same as Cloud's. Only difference will be the head sculpt. And uh, yeah, he doesn't come with an extra head sculpt, but here he is. The best articulation wise, butterfly uh, type. 
definitely you have you can roll it out on the side uh, ball jointed on the elbows uh, torso articulation as well as the hip articulation so may just stiff pa siya kasi kakalabas pa lang has two extra set of pair of belts um, meron siyang thigh articulation you can swivel it you have um, knee double jointed articulation and ball jointed knees as well as articulated toes So this figure is definitely like a mall, man. Will look great with the rest of the gang. And much like of the other figures, down heavy sila. Kaya they will be able to stand on their own without the need of any um, stance, for lack of better words. And then without any assistance. Pero definitely you have to pose him uh, having the sword on hand or in hand prepositions man since there's not much accessories associated with this figure the only way that you can pose him that would make sense is to have him have the buster sword Just being extra careful in putting his hand dun sa peg, kasi as you can see here, many piece of mga pegs, mga figures na to. So you have to really not just force it in, but you have to. Um, Carefully thread rolling effect possible. It's heavy ass sword. There, see how tall it is. It's actually going to perhaps be an 8 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch. Figure. But yeah. Really does look like. Uh, cloud only difference is going to be his head sculpt but hoping to have him uh, post action but here he is along with Aerith the two figures that comes from the crisis core line of the clay art sky uh, series but there's only two of them but hoping play art sky will do angel and genesis but who, kno who knows if they will um, show themselves in the remake but on my own we'll just use them as they are and um, keep crossing our fingers now they will have um, additional figures to the line but yeah thank you for watching uh, ito yung ating review and unboxing of the player sky zap player figure from crisis core and again take care stay safe like subscribe good shit lang Peace out.